What's up, guys? Iceman here. So, there's that game Zelda and shit, where you're that little green motherfucker, and you open up chests, and they make sounds that are all alluring and excitable and shit like that, man. And you can have those sounds, those sound effects, in Diablo 2, in Path of Diablo, more specifically, the most toad way to play Diablo 2, all right? You got widescreening shit. You got added gaming content. This is a modded version of Diablo 2. You have a toad ass inventory. It's huge. But yeah, nonetheless, and I know some of you guys have heard these sounds in my previous videos, and a lot of people have inquired on them. Iceman, where the hell did you get that loot filter? Where it makes those sounds and shit. I want that. Yeah, and the benefit is, of course, for those of you who are experienced in playing Diablo 2, often you'll be killing a bunch of shit, and you never really know if you miss something or not. I mean, with Path of Diablo, you get all sorts of added loot filtration where it's not so cluttered. But yeah, uh, abbreviations of, oh shit, okay. Okay, yeah, I don't have my... Uh, I don't have my loot filter on right now. Let's. Oh shit! Where the hell's a loot filter? You kidding me, bro? It's fucking bullshit. Oh hell no. Okay, well, but nonetheless, okay. So my loot filter's not working, but what is working is the uh, is the sound effects. All right. See, so check this out. Here's an ohm room that I found the other day. All right. Where did I find this thing? Right outside the Chaos Sanctuary in the River of Flame. I was killing shit, that thing fell. Listen to this. See that? It's like the sound from Zelda. And you'll hear it if it falls, even outside of the screen a little bit. Like your job is on, or some shit. You're throwing your javelins and killing stuff off screen. The problem is there are so many other sound effects. Often, you can miss... The runes falling, if you're not listening carefully enough. Or sometimes there's just so much other shit falling at the same time, it's damn near impossible to hear them hit the ground. So yeah, you have this, and I think the gain is turned up on them a little bit compared to the other dynamic effects. So, yeah, you're going to hear that shit, man. It helps, you know? And the same thing for the Orbs of Corruption. Check this out. Makes a nice little sound like that. Um... Depending on the rarity and level of the rune, the more elaborated the sound effects are going to be. Uh, and they start at Lem. All right, here's Ko. It doesn't have any sound effects. But Lem, it sounds something like something like that. It might be the same sound effect as the OC, I'm not sure. But as they go up, they start being more, you know, uh, just musically inclined in shit. Like uh, the burr, it's that sound effect when you open up a big ass chest in Zelda, where it goes, doo -doo 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 -doo. you know what I'm talking about? You know that sound effect? And yeah, it's it's exciting to hear that shit go down. But what you have to do is you have to go to uh, the Path of Diablo wiki. All right, here's a page right here, pathofdiablo.com. You go to the wiki, and there's a little link or something for the loot SFX. All right. The sound effects. And you have to click this one here is what I use. I haven't even tried these other ones, so I don't know. Maybe they're told. But I like the Zelda ones because I know Zelda. And this is the NES version of Zelda, apparently. You click that. And then you have to copy the data folder. You have to download it. It takes you right to a link with a data folder. You have to copy that data folder and paste it into your Diablo 2 folder. Um, into your Path of Diablo, and then go to your Diablo 2 folder, click on Diablo 2, and then find Path of Diablo in your folders, and click on the Path of Diablo folder, and then in that, you paste the data folder that you get from this shit, all right? Just says data on it. Don't do what I did. What I did is I clicked the data on a separate folder, and I um, clicked the other things, and I accessed all the sound effects, and I just highlighted them all and pasted them into the Path of Diablo folder, and that didn't work. 
So you actually just have to take the data folder itself and copy it right in there, right, dog? Mr. Shit, it like this damn video if you have not yet. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have been inquiring on this, so we'll see if you all be using it. Now, should I have shared this information with you? I don't know. The truth is, if you all be using this, you all going to be finding more runes. And Iceman's no longer going to have the edge like he might have right now, where I can find them nice shiny runes. I find more of them, because I can hear that shit drop. You know, so this might not help Daddy in the end, I don't know. So to make up for that shit, y'all can become a patron. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you for those of you who support me on Patreon. Click the link in the description below if you want to help Ice Daddy out. Uh, yeah, but I'm really not worried about saturating the market and shit, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, maybe I'm onto something, but most folks probably aren't going to use this loot filter anyway. It's kind of a, you know, it's just one more step you have to take. Uh, I took, it took me a while to get it back because I had it uh, last year, last ladder, but then my computer crashed and shit, I had to reset Windows, and I forgot how I got that loot filter. I didn't, and I, I thought, oh, that was a pain in the ass still to find that Zelda one. But the truth is, it's not nearly as complicated as I remember. It's right on the path of Diablo Wiki. You just gotta copy that folder into your Diablo 2 and Path of Diablo folder. I put it into both. I think you just have to have it in your Path of Diablo folder. But yeah. Uh, let me know if you guys uh, have uh, tried this now. And comment below if it's working out well for you. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure you're gonna hear shit fall. Um, even if it's a little out the screen, even if you kill stuff. Say you poison something, open the wounds, you run away from them, and they die later. You know, just, just not too far off the screen, but just a little bit. But even if it's not off the screen, it's very helpful. Because you can often, you know, you'll hit alt as you run away, and you, you'd already missed something that was there. And you, and you didn't hear it fall, of course. But if you heard it fall, you go back and get that shit. So, yeah, comment below what you guys uh, think about that loot filter. I think it's pretty cold, so I'm glad I finally went around to getting that thing back. I've just been so into playing Path of Diablo, if I sit on my computer, I don't want to take time to go look up shit and download it, I just want to play some Diablo. And I, I am working on my Hemorrhage Necromancer, so stay tuned for some videos on him. He's currently level like 30, 36 or something like that. Uh, he soloed Bell at level 27, I think, or maybe even 26. So yeah, Hemorrhage is pretty told, and I didn't even hand down any gear to him from my Barbarian. Uh, maybe one or two very weak items, but it, they weren't essential. I gave him my Ooms Lament, all right? Yeah, I gave him that. So that, that probably helped quite a bit. That's two to Necromancer skills. I found that with my Barbarian. But I don't intend to give that Necromancer many goodies that my Barbarian finds. I'm kind of looking just to experience the game a bit more fully, I think by, you know, trying to find the shit with the Necromancer and trade the stuff that he finds instead of just hand down all the, you know, higher and stuff with the Barbarian. I will give him mediocre shit from this guy, but I'm not going to use, like, own runes and stuff like that to help out my Necromancer. I think I'm going to make the Necromancer work for it, dog. So, yeah, I'll be making some videos on him, too, all right? So stay tuned for that. Like I said, become a patron if you want. Link in the description below. Peace be with you.